Hi, good evening. This is Don Sturkey. I wanted to share with you all a little bit of the process for making a belt. Many of you already know that I love leather work. Last year I uh, invested in a true leather sewing machine. Uh, named her Bertha Joe. Bertha Joe is a cast iron 300 pound behemoth and she can sew all the way up to about seven eighths of an inch in leather. Uh, saddle work, belts, wallets, gun holsters, things like that. That's a lot of what I do. But uh, it's always interesting. I wanted to show you all, uh, and this is just an amateur video, sewing a belt. This is one of my belts I make. It's vegetable tanned, uh, laminated two layers of five to six ounce leather that's been uh, carefully glued together, and I'm stitching it. Um, it's kind of interesting to watch. So if you'll follow along with me here just a little bit, I'll show you how Bertha Joe does her job. You can go ahead and use the guide. You notice Bertha Joe has a uh, special walking foot built into her. It actually feeds the leather or the material. I can sew through plastics, things like that. Feeds the leather very carefully. I'm doing six stitches per inch right now. I'm awful happy to have her. A lot of people don't know what goes into making something that is deceptively simple, like a belt. At another time, I'll make a little video showing how these uh, straps are cut out with a small hand tool that I have and laminated. I enjoy it. I'm not going to say that I can do it for long stretches at a time because you have to sit and I'm not able to sit for extended periods or stand for extended periods but this is a hobby that I so truly enjoy and it lets me be creative these belts in general run about seventy dollars a piece they're custom made to your specifications on size you know that's width and length I only use very high quality buckles, either bronze, brass, stainless, sometimes nickel plated brass. Well, I'm coming to the end of the strap and I have to use two hands, so I'm going to say goodbye for now. And if anybody has a question or an interest in a belt for a special gift, Christmas is only a few months away. And again, I make these in brown and black. I'm expanding my repertoire to include some fancier stitching. But just give me a uh, message. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.